Hey everybody, this is Brett and today I am super excited to go over this brand new 2023 Ram 2500 Crew Cab 6 foot short box Rebel package. This is a brand new trim level for 2023 and it is also our very first 2023 Ram heavy duty truck that we've got on the lot. So there's a lot to go through on this particular truck and this particular trim level and a lot to go through for the 2023 Ram heavy duty truck. First off, this one has the 6.4 liter V8 Hemi engine, puts out 410 horsepower, 429 foot pounds of torque. When properly equipped, the Rebel package has a max towing capacity of 16,870 pounds and a max payload of 3,140 pounds with the 6.4 Hemi. And while this is part of the Power Wagon family, this particular truck has an available 6.7 liter Cummins diesel option and that payload is 1,970 pounds and max towing is 14,920. So the gasoline 6.4 Hemi actually has a better tow rating than the diesel for the Rebel package. Um, I'll show you what I mean when I say it's part of the Power Wagon family. It looks like a Power Wagon, but it's got a couple differences. And I'll show you on the original window sticker when we take a look at that, what that means. So you can get this truck in eight different colors. When you get the two-tone paint, uh, it comes in granite crystal over diamond black, billet silver over diamond black, Patriot Blue, Hydra Blue, Delmonico Red, Flame Red, Olive Green, and Bright White over that Diamond Black. And when you get it in the monotone paint scheme, you can also get it in all Diamond Black. So nine of colors available on the monotone, eight colors on the two-tone. Let's get right into this one. Uh, the new options for 2023 are new mirrors, and I think you're really gonna like the new mirrors on the new Ram heavy duty trucks, as well as the instrument cluster. Getting into the Rebel package though, this one has the Warren winch. This is a Warren Xeon 12 winch, and it does come with a controller. It hooks up right here. I'll show you where the controller is in just a little bit. It has the front bumper parking sensors. You get kind of the matte black finish on the bumpers. This one has the projector style LED headlamps, LED running lights, and LED fog lamps. You get the Power Wagon Ram stamped grill on here. The one thing to note on the Rebel is that you get this cowl induction hood. And so while there's a cap on there, you can remove that cap on the inside and uh, make it a true cowl induction hood, which is pretty sweet. You get the fender flares on here. The other thing that the Rebel really has over the standard power wagon is you can get these 20 inch wheels. So uh, you can only get 17s on the original or on the power wagon. And that was always the gripe of a lot of people is that the wheels looked silly because they were so small. Well, now they made them 20s and I think it looks great. Just take a look at that. It's just got such a better stance. The tires fill up the wheel well really nice. And it comes with Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack tires. These are 280, LT 285-60R20s. So you still get the Bilstein shocks. You still get the um, true lock uh, axle, but it's just the rear axle on this one. And I'll show you that. You also don't get the sway bar disconnect with the Rebel package. So let's take a look at the original window sticker here. This is what I mean by saying that this is part of the Power Wagon family. So if you look up here, it says Ram 2500 Power or Rebel, but right here, it is a Power Wagon. So it's Power Wagon Crew Cab. You get olive green over black, 6.4 Hemi, eight speed auto. Everything right here is your standard equipment. And you'll notice that it says true lock front and rear axles. But when you get down to the optional equipment here, customer preferred, preferred package 2GR, which is the Rebel package, you get a package savings of 1,095 bucks. So you get $1,095 back for taking the Rebel. And you'll notice that you get the high back seats, two-way rear seat headrests, conventional differential front axle, and limited slip differential with electronic lock for the back. So it takes your front locking axle and makes it a conventional um, with the Rebel package. Heated front seats, uh, electronic shift on the fly transfer case, eight way power adjustable driver's seat, heated steering wheel, 18 inch uh, steel spare wheel and Rebel suspension. 
and 220 amp alternator. This one has the Leather 2 Equipment Group, which gives you leather trim bucket seats. It's a $7,000 option. Feel free to pause this to read those. I'm not going to read everything. This one also has on the option center stop lamp with cargo view camera, adaptive steering, 20 inch wheels. Uh, these are special wheels, so they're 995 bucks. Blind spot with tail tag trailer and cross path detection, 595 bucks. Ram box is 1195, and the front winch is 2500 bucks. And then the spray and bed liner by Mopar is 600 bucks. Total MSRP is on 84,065. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and five year 60 for the gas engine and transmission. Now, if this was a diesel, that would be a five year 100,000 powertrain. Greenhouse gas of B, small grain of B, and the overall safety scores are pretty good for this Rebel. Uh, we'll get into the interior in just a little bit. This one does have the Ram box, nothing really new there. LED tail lamps, the uh, LED or I'm sorry, the backup parking sensors, towing package, of course, receiver hitch, four pin, seven pin wiring. This one does have the power drop down tailgate. So you can either press that button or do it with your key fob. And then you get the LED lights back here that you can turn on and off with this button. You get the RAM management, cargo management system with the bed extender there. You also get the side tie downs with the cleats. And those are adjustable. The nice spray and bed liner on here as well. That goes onto the tailgate, which is a nice thing to have. Uh, let's go check out those mirrors because those are the main thing that's new on the 2023 Ram. So these particular ones do have the blind spot monitoring in them. Uh, you get LED side lights for the back and you get these LED lights in the front. You also have a blind spot mirror, and that is a power blind spot mirror. These also now power telescope out. I'll show you how those work right now. So here are your new controls for those mirrors. They're a little confusing when you first looked at, but I'll make it easy. So these are for your lights. That's how you turn on your back lights, your front lights. And you can see they are extremely bright, which is really nice. And then you have your power telescopic feature. So you press that button right there, you'll see it lights up. And then you press this to go out, this one to go in. Look at that, pretty sweet. And then they come back in. So awesome there. And then they power fold in as well, which is pretty cool. I mean, they've always done that, but now you have pretty much the best of all the worlds. So now to get that blind spot mirror to work, you press that button and then which side you want to control and watch that blind spot mirror on the bottom. You can control that, which is really nice, especially for the passenger side because you can't really reach it while you're in the driver's seat. So anyways, that's the new mirrors. The back seats have not changed. Um, Still has a power sign rear window. This one has the Harman Kardon sound. You get the speakers in the ceiling. They still have the load floor, uh, which is a nice feature. I'm glad they didn't go away with that. You also get the storage under the seats. Here is your winch controller, as well as your winch uh, hook. You still get the in-floor storage, which is really nice. You got drinks, you can put ice and drinks in there. It's like you have too many coolers wherever you go or if you're not in Wisconsin, just extra storage space. Two USBs, two USB-Cs, these back seats are heated, 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in. Uh, I get child safety locks in the back doors, and I uh, did want to show you the VIN sticker. Everybody wants me to show that, so I do. And then here is your tire and loading information sticker. This particular truck has a max towing package of 14,621 pounds and 2,849 payload per Rams tow guide website. I'll link that in the description below. This one comes with the uh, level two group, which gives you the all leather seats, power driver seat. Uh, you get the gray piping on there. You get rebel embossed into the backrest. We'll hop inside, take a look at this awesome 12 inch instrument cluster. So you can see you get the 12 inch goes from there to there. That's all electronic. Uh, the digital speedometer or tachometer speedometer right there or 
yeah, speedometer and the digital speedometer in the middle. You get the Rebel uh, logo at top, compass display. You can change those corners to read whatever you want. And what's kind of nice is that it's set up very much like the old instrument clusters that were just the seven inch radio or the seven inch display. And you can kind of see that it kind of fits into that seven inch display, if you could imagine. You can have the whole navigation system right in the dash, which is really neat. And uh, you can have your off-road pages in the dash as well. So you get your, um, your, oops, your drivetrain, your steering angle, and then you can have your um, angles on there. So that's pretty cool. And then you get your distance to empty, what's going on in the audio, and you can do your screen setup where you can choose what's in each corner. Uh, just a, we could do a whole video just on this. So anyways, I mean, like really you could, uh, you could do a whole thing on that. And then you have this display, which is similar to the Grand Cherokees where you can actually, uh, choose different boxes or widgets into the screen. So that's really neat. Leather wrap steering wheel. Nothing's changed on the steering wheels. This one comes with the Uconnect. 5 12 inch radio everything is the same on the radio here uh, am fm sirius the navigation system heated cooled seats in the front you have all your different apps on here uh, you can do your off-road pages on here as well there's your off-road pages um so those are pretty cool. Your steering angle, pitch and roll, that's what I was trying to say before. Anyways, you also get your latitude, longitude, and altitude on there. Uh, this one does have the Harman Kardon sound. I like the dash trim that they have. You could imagine that it kind of looks wood grain, but it also kind of looks futuristic, and that's on the door as well. So a lot of the same stuff on the radio and everything so nothing's really changed there still 115 volt 400 watt plug-in keyless entry with remote start power drop down tailgate you get that rebel trim on the dash over there as well the dual glove boxes assist and sos buttons map lights power sign rear window button and home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems the one thing that this truck does not have uh that's new for 2023 is the new mirrors that have the digital camera in them so you get a digital camera right here and then you can have the side view from the mirrors on each side which is pretty neat i saw it on ram's website go check it out it's really cool anyways let's uh I'll take a look under the hood for everybody and we'll also turn on all the LED lights and I'll do a final walk around with all the lights on. So the headlights, the fog lights, the lights in the mirrors, everything's going to be on and we'll do a final walk around like that. I'm going to turn the lights on the mirrors on as well. Let's take a quick look under the hood. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you've been able to get a good idea of the Rebel package, the 2023 Ram package, uh, the new lights, the new mirrors, the new instrument cluster, all that good stuff. There is the emission sticker on this and you can see it's got bolts up there for that cowl induction that you could remove to get that out and uh, just a really cool truck. And you can get the Ram Rebel in the Cummins diesel, which is pretty sweet. Let me pause it here and then we'll turn off all the lights so you can see just how bright everything is. All right, so you can see just how lit up this truck is uh, with the LED headlamps, LED running lights, LED fog lamps, the LED lights on the mirrors, the LED lights on the clearance lights there, and then the LED side lights here which uh, it doesn't even look dark in here with uh, all the lights on. You get the LED tail lamps, LED license plate lights. Everything looks really good on this truck and very sharp ride. Obviously Chrysler, Jeep, Ram and Dodge are listening. They put all those 
or they put the 20 inch wheels on the power wagon package. They, uh, you can now get a Cummins diesel in a truck that looks like a power wagon, which I think a lot of people were wanting as well. And just a really good looking truck, a really good package, and uh, just a really nice design on the mirrors, the cluster. I like everything about this truck. Let me know in the comments what you think. And to see more pictures of this truck or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we gotta go to that website right there. Thanks again for checking out the video. If you wanna check out more videos, go to youtube.com slash summit auto. I got over 8,000 videos of walk arounds and demonstrations on there. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Ram 2500 truck videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this particular vehicle in the lower left, and a link to the full walk around of this truck in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering the 2023 Ram 2500 Crew Cab 6 foot 4 inch short box Rebel in olive green over diamond black metallic. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.